The Trader's star Charlotte Chilton was left needing emergency brain surgery after being diagnosed with rare neurological disorder trigeminal neuralgia. The Trader's star Charlotte Chilton has revealed she didn't want to live anymore due to suffering from a very bad case of trigeminal neuralgia. According to the NHS, the rare disorder is sudden, severe facial pain often described as a sharp shooting pain or like having an electric shock in the jaw, teeth or gums. The website adds that symptoms usually happen in short, unpredictable attacks that can last from a few seconds to up to two minutes. The attacks can stop as suddenly as they start. In most cases, trigeminal neuralgia affects just one side of the face, with the pain usually felt in the lower part of the face. Very occasionally, the NHS continues, the pain can affect both sides of the face, although not usually at the same time. In Charlotte's case, she shared how the disorder led to severe pain and undergoing brain surgeries in her 20s which left her not wanting to live anymore. The Traders star, who left the show last week, told Metro.co.uk, You don't know when you're going to have your next pain and when you do have your pain. It can be managed sometimes with painkillers or it can be to a point you're screaming. You want to stick a knife in your face because it's unbearable. It's actually known as the suicide disease because it has such a high percentage of people who die by suicide because it's just agony. It's the worst pain condition you can have. Charlotte went on to say the suffering meant missing out on a lot of things in life, adding, I didn't want to live anymore. I was at my worst. With the help of Charlotte's wife Laura Chilton, a leading surgeon took her on as a patient and confirmed she was in a bad state ahead of treating her with surgery. The BBC star was then faced with further health complications after a car accident messed up the work she had been having done. This time they shredded the nerve as well as padding it all out in the hope that this would really help and it did. But the downside is the recovery was a lot worse and short-term memory loss, she recalled.